Hey guys, really quick, some quick directions about what I want you to do today. This is the beginning of a unit. So even if you've already taken this test before or a similar test, you need to go ahead and take it. Yes, it's pretty long. I've already taken it three times because I keep forgetting to save it. So it's really not that big of a deal. And there are 64 questions. You just answer them, yes, it's like absolutely, no, absolutely not, and then kind of in the middle. If there are words on here you don't know, please send me an email and ask me, hey, what does this mean, senora? Or better yet, look up the word and figure it out. All right, so you're gonna answer your questions like I did, and then you're gonna score your test, and it's gonna give you this weird thing right here, okay? Like I am an ISTJ. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to, is it gonna let me, yes, okay. I want you to copy that, and I want you to put it on a document, and that means absolutely nothing to you right now, and that's fine. So I just copied it. I don't care what it looks like there. I'm going to go back, and um, I'm going to read this description because this is really important. The I stands for introvert. That's actually me. Sensing, thinking, and judging. And just your percentage doesn't mean you're a good or bad person. It's just how you perceive the world. Now, right here, you need to read the full description. And hopefully, when you read this... I want you to go ahead and copy it. Um, I don't want you to copy, obviously, the picture. It's a lot, but that's okay. You're going to need it later. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it right over here. Be a good thing if you read it. And probably you will be surprised to see, wow, that's really close to me. I really do think like that. Or in those situations, that's pretty much what I would do if you answered things correctly. So, um, for example, for me, it says that I give off the initial impression of being aloof. That means like not really caring about other people and sometimes people think I'm a cold person. That's true sometimes, not so much at school, but in my regular life. Um, I don't give off a lot of emotional warmth at home. That's true. Um, if I do, it says it costs me a considerable amount of energy. Mm, that's probably too. Also, I'm a just with a facts person. I like to know exactly what's going to happen. I make plans. That's basically what all this says. And all that's true about me. It says um, when other people don't keep their commitments, it makes me frustrated. That's why when you don't turn in your work after I plan a big long lesson it makes me really mad. Anyway, so all those things are true. So then I'm going to go back to my results and I'm going to find some career choices that might work for my personality. So let me see. Yeah. Um, so basically any of these, I probably, let me see if it'll let me copy them. Yeah. Things where you have to have a plan, you have to go in order, things like that. Crazy that I didn't decide to be any of those, but I guess kind of being a teacher, I'm in management sort of. So this is all I want you to do today. I want you to take the test. I want you to include my results. And like I said, um, I don't just want the letters, I want the actual huge description, okay, because you're going to need it later. And then I want you to do the job type, which we found under the careers, and actually give me some jobs that go with your personality type. And that's all you have to do for today. And then you're going to save this. It's going to be really, really important that you save this in your Avid folder. So I'm going to go to File and Move, and I'm going to put it in my Avid folder because you're going to need it for the upcoming events. So submit that for today, and that's all you have to do. Adios. Holler at me if you have questions.